What's up guys, it's Daz here. But you don't really care as we have highlighted in Central Hyrule the last shrines that are in Hyrule, pretty much. There are eight in Central Hyrule, we've marked them with these crystallized mark mappings and we've actually just seen some with the orange markings. So as per usual, we're gonna go from the southernmost point up north and then get all the shrines on the way. So starting off, we're going way down to this little swampy area here, just east of Nefra Hill. So you can just about see it, we're just west of the Great Plateau now. It's just like a little bridgey path down here. It's very foggy, so let me get closer at least so you can see what's going on. Here we go, and you can see the shrine nice and clearly underneath the northernmost bridge north of the Hinox, if you know this area incredibly well. The Darkesso Shrine. A minor test of strength. This is gonna be pretty darn easy, if you ask me. Funny that the final area in the game has like a super easy shrine in it. Although I guess people would have come here early as well, but oh well. Anyway. Oh, wow, you're actually kind of speedy. You know what? Never mind. No. Oh, whoa. Oh, okay. Because I can hit you in the eye. Hold on. Bam. Ah. You serious? You're still alive? You shouldn't be, dude. Thank you. And done. His, his weapon is way over here. Jesus, okay. And all for a little ancient core. Okay, let's go. Next one we're going to is just overlooking the outskirt stable, right here. Here we are again at the Rota U Shrine. Passing of the gates. So first things first, we need a small key, which is to the right by hitting this crystal. But first, I want to go left because there is a treasure chest around here. I guess I, kind of, I might have been wrong on that. Hitting the crystal turns everything over, revealing an orb, which is very lovely. And we can go and put this just over here with another hit of the arrow. Actually, we might be able to magnesis it in. No, 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 we can't. Okay. Before we do, though, you can see there is a chest over here. So what we want to do is... We want to hit, a cr hit the crystal again while we're over on this side to flip it back. Actually, I'm just going to use Cryonis to get over to this spot since it's already open to us now. So, flip it up. And treasure is ours. Thank you for that small key. Very helpful. We'll need that in just a moment. But first, I've messed up. Now I've hit the switch again to flip it back over again. And we need to put the orb on this side of the uh, g gate, I guess you'd call it. Flip it around again and get over there, which you can do because there's a water path in case you weren't aware. And now you can put the ball in this little cachet basket thing. Well, if you have any kind of skill, like so. And then, of course, flip it on over and it goes right in. giving us a launcher. But first, of course, you have to hit the switch, otherwise you're gonna hit the gate that it's above it now. And now it's not in front of it. So now, we we are still hitting things, hey. So what you need to do is actually unlock this gate first, otherwise the launcher will keep blocking you. Now, if you flip it over and get launched, you'll go right through the gate that you've just opened. And first things first, let's go get our treasure. Cool. And then, hit the switch again. And now we can launch ourselves on our way to the monk. Maybe I'm wrong again. But you gotta do it in midair. Otherwise you'll get blocked. And then lovely, you're all sorted. Next we're going to the other shrine, the Riverside Stable on the east side of Hyrule Field. And here we are at the Wago Kata Shrine. Metal connect uh, connections even, I thought it said something different. So what you'll notice is there are three giant blocks that you can climb over here and they will lead you quite nicely to a little chest. Didn't take long at all. Amber, lovely. Now all we need to do is use that along with that metal slate over there to get to the monk. That's it, it's all just one big game of Lego, I guess, almost. Let me see if I could do this in one big go. The answer is no, but oh well. Anyway, you just need to stack them up the same as the were before, get access to the slate, and then just make yourself a nice little tower bridge. All right, and here we go. It's kind of lined up with this empty block here, like it's not, it's between the patterned walls, 
and that gets us up to the monk. Right, next up we're going just southwest of uh, the central tower by the Kamya Tak Shrine, or to the Kamya Tak Shrine. Here we are. Trial of Power. This whole thing is about a boulder. You need to use this boulder for pretty much everything you want to do. So starting off, what you need to do is that it is the boulder is connected to another boulder up high, which you can magnify to blow through the door. That actually wasn't very powerful, but oh well. This is going to be just a series of tests, usually using some kind of boulders. Sometimes spiked, sometimes not. You know what? If you're going to be like practically constant, I'll just... There we go. Stasis you about. Fun. Fun? Easy even. Right, next up, we've got a couple of Guardian Scouts. Basically, it's just like a bunch of trials. I mean, it is the trial of power, so it's just... A bunch of trials back to back. This is not the... Where are the trials of courage and wisdom, eh? Oh well. Anyway, now that those are gone, we can go and burn the leaves. I'm just going to use fire arrows because I'm lazy. This will unleash another boulder. And of course a treasure chest which I'm just going to hold on to. Thank you for that edge of duality. Nice. With the boulder released it will now open the gate. Once again not very powerfully but oh well that's done now. To the left is another treasure chest. Thank you. And actually I just realised to the right is just a dead end so I guess I had to say that. Oh well. Up here is, again, the next section, which, honestly, uh, you don't see many of these kind of shrines where it's just like, it's just like a puzzly maze, back-to-back -back corridor trials, you know? Everything else is just, well, for the most part, like, minor test of strength and all this, but, oh no, just fun. Oh no, I was using the Master Sword. Well, now that it's run out of energy, it is not available in our inventory, but it will show up later. So until then, I'm going to use the weapons that they've given us. That's probably a good idea. Also, that spear, that spear is a bit... Ominous. Oh well. Anyway, now that we're done here, I believe this might have been the level we saw in uh, one of the E3 conferences, like at the Nintendo Treehouse. Anyway, what we want to do is not go through that right now. We want to stasis to get our way over it calmly. Thank you. And we want to get all the way around so that we can eventually open the gates that were blocked back there. To do that, we need to get all the way around here and do another trial first. This trial is going to make us use the gyroscopic aspects of everything. We control a hammer. Hit it into the metal boulder, into the like, next boulder, that'll then eventually open the way! No, that's not working, okay. Oh, that did! I wasn't even for trying that time, but alright. That did it. So, like that. Nope. Uh, flip over. Nope, wrong way. Now it's not flipping at all. Ah, oh, gyroscopes, man. Huh? <laughs> it's always want to go, huh, that it works. Anyway, that releases the next boulder, which releases the door. Also, there's another treasure chest. Do be aware of it. It's pretty hard to miss if you ask me, but there it is. Ancient core. Lovely. Right. Thank you, boulder, for doing your duty. Let's go round to the other boulder that will open the gate from earlier than before. Right, wow, this is actually quite the corridor. I do like this kind of design of shrines, and I kind of wish there were more. I definitely see how there could have been opportunity for, like, Zelda Maker, or Dungeon Maker, you know? Anyway, doing this, a button releases a ramp, and then we've got stasis on this to make sure it can safely get round to the gate. Just need to activate it by setting the, the leaves alight. That's it. And then we want stasis on you, and the button, which I was too late for. Oh, they come constantly anyway. Okay. Hold it down, and that's not enough. You need to do it with a flick. There we go. Then it comes along, and then it can very slowly open the door for us. Lovely. Now that we're here, we have access to the final... Uh, I forgot what you call them. Gate crashes. I can't remember their full name. Um, battering ram. That's the word I was looking for. First of all, there's another secret behind this bombable rock. There's a fourth treasure now, I think. Maybe fifth. I know there's five in this region, so uh, this is either the last one or the second last one. Anyway, pressing this button opens the gate, and we then need to use stasis on this thing to open that battering ram over there. Oh, this station should open. Okay, I'll take that. Oh, uh, sure. Royal Broadsword will be enough. Just do a bunch of hits. It'll stay on the path because it is kind of like a train. And now that it's at full power, burst it on through. That's a powerful door opening if I ever saw one. Well, I'm apparently easily impressed. Anyway, now we can go up these stairs, hit the crystal to activate the launcher, and if you want that fifth chest, this is the fifth one, definitely, you go around the back of this gate here. 
Nice, a diamond. I was actually kind of hoping I could collect those in this last area. Right, and then hit the switch again to make it shut. And with a final go, take us all the way here and to the monk. Nice and easy, nice and quick. Kind of a speed run. I was doing things quite quick. Do excuse me. You've probably seen it before at the Treehouse Live, and I want to do this kind of quickly because I'm in a rush. No, not really. I just like to be quick. Satisfying. Right, now that that is done, we get a whole bunch of space in Hyrule Field where there is nothing. Next, we're going just southwest of the Central Square. We're really close to Hyrule Castle now. Here we are. This place is just sort of hidden away in a little bit of rock formation. Katar Chuki Shrine. Right about here. Let's go. Now these last few shrines are actually going to be quite quick because these are all test of strength. Minor test of strength comes first. I'll see you in just a moment. And a nice little royal halberd. Thank you very much. Let's go. Now that one's done, we're going west still, more directly of Hyrule Castle, on this little mound here, just north of Karok Bridge. Alright, <clears throat> here we are just west of Hyrule Castle, and this is the mound we're looking for. Now actually, the shrine is hidden away inside of this mound, on this southwestern portion. Let me get up to it first, and I'll show you what I mean. Just over on the west side of it, you can see there's a whole bunch of bramble, which we need to go and burn away. Thankfully it just started sunning up, so we don't have to worry about the rain being a, a nuisance, which is actually very helpful. Maybe it's because they realized what I was doing. Who knows. Wow, that's quite the fire we've made. Thankfully nothing else is flammable around here. And with that, we now unleash a bombable rock, which we could just put down there and blow ourselves up with. Perfect. It is the Noya Neha Shrine. Let's go. And it is another minor test of strength. The last one was a Guardian Scout uh, Mark 1. This is a Guardian Scout Mark 2. Last one had a spear and nothing else. And this guy has. <gasps> it's now an axe. Wow. I am the Moblin General, and I say I win this claim. I, I, I'm not. I'm not a wordsmith. Nice. Now then, let's get our monk and let's go. Right, with that one done, we're now gonna go off to the east of Hyrule Castle in the Grenel Hills. Right, here we are at the Grenel Hills. It is in this big loop on the eastern side of it here. Right down here. This is the Namika Oz Shrine. Let's go. And this is a modest test of strength. We fought a Guardian Scout Mark 1 and Mark 2. Welcome to, what do you know, it's Mark III. Coming in now with a battle axe and a spear, combining the two of the previous. Wow. Oops. Done. I feel like this time I thought my outfit should be more like a, a womanly soldier. Not so much a woman soldier, just a womanly soldier. I don't know, I'm just combining costumes for fun at this point. Still don't, ain't got any pants there. Oh, yes! We wanted that frost spear. I will go and cash that in real soon next time we're on a proper episode and not a montage filler. It's not really filler, just montage off screen that's on screen bit. Whatever. Right, now that that is done, we're gonna go to the final shrine, and that is just north of Hyrule Castle. We need to actually go into Hyrule Castle to do it. I'll show you the exact path, get that shrine, and then get right back out. So not really gonna spoil the whole path, just the bit we need for that little moment. I'm not gonna grab anything either. Let us go. All right, so here we are. We're on the northern face of Hyrule Castle, right round the back here. We wanna go into that uh, little doorway just on the river, right at the very bottom, bottom center of the map that I just showed. So, we come round to this little land here. It's a shame the, oh, the map is kind of following us. Okay, good. We want to go past this guardian guy and down into that water down there. Don't mind me, little guy. I'm just gonna dive right through. Now, this is the Hyrule Castle docks, and you'll notice it's just called the docks, first of all, and also the shrine isn't here. We need to actually activate it. Don't worry, it doesn't take a moment. 
what we need to do is first of all get onto land and hopefully not die. Jump! Oh, okay, there we go, we did finally get up. What we need to do is we need to light up one of these candles, because one of them is not lit up and it's pretty important that we do so. Climbing up these stairs, I think is the right way. I'm slightly lost and also my screen is really dark right now because I'm miles away from it. Hold on. What? I just realized I was playing with like the screen on the other side of the desk and I was like leaning way off to the left so I could barely see what's going on. I'm still a little bit dark actually. Anyway, follow the staircase and this is what we need to light up. You can use either a normal arrow with these nearby to help you or just a fire arrow but to do it nice and simply which releases the shrine in the docks. And this, I expect, is supposed to be the final shrine in the game. We actually left two off that I want to do a little bit later, but still, this is the Sas Kosar shrine. Actually, I guess this would be the second to last shrine you'd ever do. It's right in the center of Hyrule Castle. And this is our shrine, final shrine today. It's a major test of strength. Of course, we fought Guardian Scout Mark 1, 2, 3, and now 4, with an arena that has us having uh, magnesizable blocks to block any path when he comes diving at us, which is very lovely. We'll see how this goes. A sword, a spear, and an axe. All three weapons, all activatable, and I have an Ancient Battle Axe Plus myself, so let's see. And that is them all completed and done. Love Uli. Now then, let's go get our reward, and then there's two more things we need to do, even with all of these shrines completed. One that's pretty understandable and predictable, and the other is one you may have forgotten about. Flame Blade. Lovely. That guy actually almost knocked me out. I have a quarter heart left. Mostly because I couldn't get the spinning battle axe thing going on. I kept just slicing him, and then he had an opportunity with his axe that almost wiped me completely out. So, uh, eesh. Fitting for an almost final shrine, I guess. Now that that's done, let's go and do the predictable thing first and cash in these spirit orbs. Now, oddly enough, there are no goddess statues, statues in central Hyrule. We have like two in the woodland region and two in Akala and two in Nekluda and East Nekluda and all this, but none in central Hyrule. So instead, we're going to go back to the very first goddess statue we ever made or saw. Here we are once again at the Temple of Time. The first goddess statue we ever gave, giving us our very first heart container. And now, we come back again. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs. In exchange for four spirit orbs, give, I'll give you stuff, sure. Alright, and actually, the other thing I wanted to do, we're actually going to do when we get the 120th shrine, not the 118th instead. Either way, we're going to do it when we've gotten all the shrines, because you may have noticed something's missing. Maybe in this video, maybe in the last, compared to the shrine ones I'm talking about, who knows. Anyway, I am in fact actually going to end it off here. Next time... We're gonna go and get those final shrines ever, the one way off in the corner of Hyrule, and then the final one ever. Then we're gonna get the reward of all 120 shrines, get that last Korok as well, do that extra thing that I want to do that I've mentioned in this video, and then it's time to take on Hyrule Castle, because by that point we'll have pretty much everything all collected. For now, my name's been Daz. You didn't really care, and I'll see you in a bit.